This is WrestleStar News, and today we are going to be covering some interesting topics, one of which, Seth Rollins. He's going up against the grain. Then we dive into Mandy Rose reuniting with several former uh, colleagues as she was in WWE, as well as several former WWE stars being upset with the company. Now, our next story looks at Mandy Rose. Now, she was released in December of 2022 over the whole adult content situation where she was posting risque photos on her fan time page, and she was the longest reigning NXT Women's Champion at the time. She dropped the title to Roxanne Perez a few weeks earlier than expected on an episode of NXT TV, and then... They cut her the next day. Now, she's gone on to the Tamaron Hall show where she questioned uh, her departure. She questioned the release, however you want to phrase it. She also questioned the fact that WB would sometimes repost her fan time content, uh, including the famous photo with the NXT Women's title next to the pool. Either way, on Saturday over Memorial Day weekend, Rose reunited with J.C. Jane, Indy Hartwell, Cora Jade, Roxanne Perez, and others uh, at the lake, as you can see in this photo. So, Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select has a report up talking about how there were numerous NWO members that felt like the WB logo under the NWO logo on, on new merch, it undermined the spirit of the NWO shirt that became popularized in WCW in the late 1990s during the Monday Night uh, Wars with WBE. And so with these shirts being sold through fanatics, it made them frustrated over the fact that it was kind of taking away from the NWO spirit. There is a WB star that had contacted Fightful noting that this was a similar situation that happened years ago on WB Shop. And they pointed to the frustration of the whole authentic wear tag at the bottom of every WB shirt and how it just kind of just took away from the spirit of a shirt. Now, this talent said that they remember numerous wrestlers expressing their you know frustration with that and believing that it was negatively impacting the sales of the shirt. Now, Fightful did note that they were told that consideration in regards to making the WB logo be removed from the shirts have been taken into, you know, they, they discussed it, whether or not that actually happens or not, who knows. Now, our final story is a very interesting story. So, look, WB has brought back the World Heavyweight title. They held the tournament finals at WB Night of Champions on Saturday at Night of at Night of Champions in Saudi Arabia between AJ Styles and Seth Rollins. Now, this title, it is going up against the grain. It is going against history because even though Seth Rollins won the championship, even though WB originally introduced this championship with the same name, although different design in 2002 that was awarded to Triple H, this title that Rollins has is not going to be paying homage to that lineage. Instead of continuing that lineage from 2002 to today, no, no, no. It starts with today. So technically, they are looking at it as Seth Rollins is the inaugural World Heavyweight Champion, which is interesting. Now, you got to keep in mind the world title, it dates back to NWA WCW back in the late 1980s and throughout the 90s. The likes of Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker, Randy Orton, Goldberg, Chris Benoit, Rey Mysterio, Batista, Kurt Angle, Mark Henry, you can go down the list, the list, the list, the list, have held this championship of old. But this championship that Seth Rollins has is completely new.